Today we are sitting our way through life, starting very early in childhood. In elementary school, children are sitting approximately 10 hours a day. An office worker is sitting around about 11 hours a day. But sitting down can be very detrimental concerning your physiological health. In the meantime, sitting is called the new smoking. Basically, it's not an expression by scientists. It's a headline in journals and magazines. But there is scientific research behind that. We have data from around about 800,000 people all over the world. The result is that sitting has a dramatic impact on your physiological health. Therefore, we must not wonder when we have more and more people getting impacted by obesity, diabetes 2, high blood pressure, Alzheimer, dementia, depression, even cancer is in a strong correlation to that inadequate behavior sitting in an inactive way. Now I have to tell you something about our muscular system. Our muscular system is not a system which is only responsible for mechanic work. Our muscular system is the biggest metabolic system, which means when muscles are active, you don't only have a better blood circulation and oxygen supply, your muscular system is also responsible for the release of a bunch of molecular messengers, a bunch of biochemical messengers like hormones, proteins, and enzymes. And when those messengers are released, this is very beneficial for our balance of body, mind, and soul. You should never use rigid chairs when your muscular system is out of order. When you are sitting still and those messengers are not released, proteins and hormones, then the brain is getting not enough nourishment for neuroplasticity. What is neuroplasticity? Neuroplasticity means the growth and the synapse switching of neurons. Those processes are very important for memorizing and they're very important for learning and for problem solving. Therefore, you are not a good problem solver when you are sitting the entire time. Because in that moment when I'm sitting down in an inactive way, our muscular system is out of order. When you're using chairs, you should use chairs which enable that when you are sitting, that you can carry out activity on a chair. For example, here we have a chair function which is basing on a 3D mechanic, which means when you sit down, all your spontaneous activities you will carry out while you are sitting, they are not blocked, they are enabled. And due to that, you carry out complex muscular activities and due to that complex muscular activities, you will have the release of those important biochemical reactions to balance body, mind, and soul. But even the best mechanic, which is in common with your necessities, is a bad recommendation if you sit the entire day. So you should sit maximum 50% during a learning or a working day and around about 30% you should stand and 20% you should move around. Particular standing desks are more and more common in working areas and in learning areas. Standing desks are an option for yourself to change from sitting to standing but also Standing desks are an important organization when you are collaborating, when you are in a team meeting. Standing desks are so important because when we are using standing desk, nothing is restricting us. 
we can carry out all those spontaneous intuitive behaviors which enable muscular activity. So it's up to you to manage your lifestyle in a way that you carry out physical activity as often you can. Sit less, move more, use stairs instead of elevators and escalators and organize your activity that you are an active worker, an active learner in your challenging environment.